to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Like the video you are about to watch. Embracatosa liga brandesca diva lasha da bracatosiata. There's victory in Christ. There's victory in Christ. Parasha kete palakata fratisa pelegatia. Don't be tired. This is part of the miracle service. Sheke pakatoska la brandeke paratoska di fratika paratosiata. Enge de belesh ala kata fraska da balanda fraska de belesh kraga de belega de bakata fraska da varato shala kata prandes kada belega tos rakata prate ke paros kada fraksa seke de belesh manda prata ka parakata skada belega tos shala ke pras seke de belega de pranda ka paros kati balakos yata balatos yata. Imbrakata paratus kete prete kete peleka dosiata. Shele pete kete paratus yata palakus yata. Imbrakatus kale kretus kati franti ke palatus yata. It is my season. It is my season. In the name of Jesus. I am after the order of the sons of Issachar. It is my season. Declare. Mante prakatus kali frendi kebata. Shali beregete brandes katifa la kuriata paradus yata. Pray, pray, pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Iba shikete belegete bakata pras katapa la katush. Mente pratus kate kata para kata frete kate pele kate pratu katus. Prakete para kuski ata para katus yata. That which is my portion in the spirit, I obtain by faith. That is which is my portion in the spirit and in destiny. I lay claim by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Rakata palagata frate kete pelekatas, rakas kaprate kete pelekas koto frondo kos koto prakete pelek, rakete pas kala paraka tos kate frate kepa, lekete pras kete paresa kete pelekete, shane mene kete prande sapa lakata fras kate pelekete, shade kete pereko shala katos, imbra kata parata kata frate kete pelekete prasa kate lekata, shaprande kete parus kate pras kete pelekato. Mente prantos koto prakete balakata proskedeya Mati prakatus kiata balakatusa Kapras kaparus kate frente ke parus kate lekete fras kata ba Shabereske mente prata kata prate kete lekete fras kete ketesh Impre kete parus koto pros koto prate keta Soto prante pe lekete fras kete balatos One more minute. Segete belegete parodas yata balakus. Segete belegete pras kate balakata parus. Shato pras kote brandi gete balakus yata baladaba. Pray in your way to victory. 
praying your way to new dimensions praying your way to higher levels in the spirit praying your way into testimonies the manifestations of the speakings of God hallelujah hallelujah now we are still going to pray one last prayer point before you be seated I want you to mention everything that must live your life this night mention it by yourself as an act of faith for those following you can stand in for your children everything that is not in the word everything that is inconsistent with the speakings of God you are going to pray prophetically and declare that it leaves finally go ahead and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray that barrenness situation that situation of shame and reproach limitation in progress I declare and declare by the Spirit of the Living God, your end has come. Is someone praying? Thou shalt declare a thing and it shall be established unto you. Where the word of the King is, there is power. Decree and declare. Hela baratos kalibra digatiba shalabada. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to pain, goodbye to disappointment, goodbye to seeing and not handling. There must be a performance. 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 Goodbye to stagnation. Goodbye to fear. Goodbye to oppression. Goodbye to yokes and curses. For in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray Amen. Jesus the Son of God I believe in you Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Sing it two more times from the depth Jesus, of your heart. The Son of God. The Son of God. of the living God you were sent by the Father to us you represent the ministry of his power in our lives and tonight we agree and we believe that your power will be made manifest in our lives Amen. Lord over many situations in this place let tonight bring the solution once and for all And for someone who is saying, Lord, are you able? Let me speak to your life. 
that this God is a mighty God and he will surprise you tonight. <laughs> to someone who is saying, I shouted amen before and nothing happened, let me declare over your life, tonight becomes your night. To someone who is saying, I celebrated the hand of God in others and what their testimonies, but I am yet to receive mine. That seed you have sown, your harvest is coming this night. For someone who is saying, I'm even discouraged, I don't know whether to believe or not. In the name of Jesus, the mercy of God is speaking for you this night. And for someone who already saw this day in your dream and your vision I declare that what you saw that is consistent with the will of God tonight is a night when it manifests why do we pray we pray to align our hearts to the speakings of the Spirit we pray so that there are no solical distractions while the word of God is coming. Go ahead and pray. All the overflows, make sure you are praying. Those who are following online and those with the main auditorium, go ahead and pray. Shada balata pa shada bakata prande ges gede beledi. In grete gete balaku shada fras gede balatu ziata. Mande brata skade veleku shali grete ges kadiya maha shada balakata bakato sada bredi gidiya. In grete gete balas shalas kana maha skati bakarya da kato zia. Nege de brante skade balakato skade brante ge balaku ziate. El gata pras gata balakata shabrande skade brande ge balash. My spirit is open. Makata bras kade beleke shala bakados kade beleke ta embrata pas kada vrete ke beleke dosh kali vrete ke baladus yata. Make sure you are praying. You are opening your spirit to receive. Shani malade baras soda vrakas kus kade belada bas shada bas embrata kada baratus kada vrete ke baratus kade beleke te banda brata baratus kada balata vrete ke beleke te vrandas kada balada bas. Legate fresca de balancho brancos cate barato zevede in prata pacata parada balacata frata badacata frata gata belegate frata shada barada balacata franca sepete gatash meta fracata pratica belegata fratica belegata mega prosco to prate ge balato scata prate ge balato fria sada balatash e fracata parato scata prate ge balagata frate ge belegata Rata balaka ta fraska de belenda pradiska di pradika baliata batusia. Just for a minute or two, mete bas kalika ta fraska de balada baka ta frente ke belenda dosh. Leka ta fraska de balada ta katush kalikres. E braka ta baka ta barata baka ta brata kete belenda de brake de balaka dosh. Me gratos ka de fraska de balaka dosh ke le brente ke parus. E braka ta barata balaka ta brate ke de belenda ta. Mensa di balada bras ke vashe ne mas ke di balasho bakas e grata balaba da balada balaka ta frada ke debesh mege branta kas kota bras ke ne baratus ka frete ke e branta ta baranta ka ta frete ke debele ke te branta balaka ta pa 
your feet now the prayer of Jabez oh that thou wouldest bless me therefore I declare South Africa house of treasures every businessman every man of God every captain of industry I decree and declare let the blessing of the Lord rest on you now 
above and beyond any curse above and beyond any satanic manipulation be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed blessed in the morning blessed in the afternoon blessed in the evening blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus and enlarge my course the bible says and he measured a thousand cubits in the name of jesus listen carefully i want to pray for you first spiritually then financially then territorially i command be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged increase advance make progress be enlarged house of treasures south africa be enlarged in the name of jesus christ and that your hand will rest upon me when the hand of god comes upon you it means speed when the hand of god comes upon you it means power and capacity when the hand of god comes upon you it means the engracing for possibilities therefore i call upon my god who is also your god may that mighty hand rest upon you now may the power of god come upon you now to do exploits for the kingdom in the name of jesus christ number four and that you will be kept from evil and that it will not hurt you did your bible not say the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity i pray for you in the name of jesus may the discerning grace and even the keeping grace work together to protect you from evil he said but i know whom i have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him even against that day. Therefore I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the devil will not have a chance over your life. Evil will not have a chance over your life. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Let me prophesy to you. Listen, there is a grace that can lift a man above his contemporaries. Not from a competitive standpoint. It says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. It said Esther obtained favor from the king and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins. That more than grace. That grace that can lift you more than. Receive it in the name of ministry. Laboring and serving the purposes of God. I know that your nation like ever gone through and is going through all kinds of transitions. My first prayer for you is that God will keep you pure. In the name of Jesus Christ. That you will be a pure breed indeed. All the appetites of the flesh that distract the purity of your call. I declare may they be far from your life. Then I pray for you. Experience a strange order of numerical growth. A strange order of financial growth I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ help that man please that every altar and every pulpit will be set on fire for Jesus we pray for the spirit of the evangelistic the pastoral the apostolic and the prophetic every dimension you have been called in right now i stretch my hands the grace and the mantle you need men of god now take that fire 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 prophetic fire i empower you by the spirit prophetic wells everyone called into the prophetic ministry the apostolic ministry i impart grace upon you 
the spirit of revelation may it come upon you right now the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray for those in business in addition to the value that you provide in addition to the products and the services that you package and you sell to a targeted consumer base you will need the prophetic you will need the backing of heaven therefore i pray for every businessman in the name of jesus because the lord is your shepherd i prophesy that you shall not want find favor with the powers that be find favor with systems and structures find favor with gatekeepers find favor with captains of industry i prophesy may my god increase you more and more i give your business visibility in the market space in the name of jesus christ listen the lord is bringing the church to a dimension where men will equal nations because of the blessing of the lord and the supply of the spirit may you be part of that army we're wrapping up let me pray for every family here in south africa how many of you know that if you are the only one who is saved and if you are the only one who is doing well you are still not free he said as for me and my house there are many people here your trouble is not sickness your trouble is not poverty your problem is your children are we together let me pray for you any family here that is yet to experience salvation genuine salvation transformation having children that are not yet in order having family members scattered there is no peace there is no joy and unity here at this conference in the name of jesus we declare by the power of the holy spirit peace be still to every storm in your family peace be still peace be still peace be still hear me let me pray for our children The prodigal son said, the Bible says he came to himself and he said to himself, how many hired servants has my father and yet I am here feeding with the swine. He said, I will arise and I will go back to my father and I will say unto him, father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I am not worthy to be called your son. Take me as one of your servants. The most important thing is he came to himself. The grace that makes men come to themselves to realize what they are doing and to be converted for good. May that grace come upon you. May that grace come upon our children. South Africa, you will not lose your children. You will not lose your children to moral decadence. You will not lose your children to the corruption of the times. In the name of Jesus Christ. wrapping up hallelujah I just felt stirred in my heart to do this Apostle Felix and his precious wife um, they love this ministry and this man has labored and continues to labor for the program of God in one minute right where you are I want you to speak a prophetic word of prayer from the depth of your heart please speak it to this man and his dear wife you love them sincerely as your pastor as your father whether you are a member of house of treasures or not go ahead and pray just right where they are pray for them pray for them lord you will raise errands and horse pray for them pray for them that God will continue to use him mightily. He has been the force behind the, the rising of many. The gates of hell will not prevail against him. Wisdom for him. Pray for house of treasures under his watch. It will only be from glory to glory. Is someone praying? 
the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is praying for his choice servant and his maid servant you love your pastor you love this man of God pray for him from the depth of your heart preserve him oh God keep him oh God anoint him oh God afresh with grace afresh with wisdom afresh with fire afresh with power hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ two last functions and then I take my leave every time I travel to any nation I believe that part of the apostolic responsibility is to stand in faith with those who are of faith and those who are in power governmentally speaking to pray over this nation I truly love South Africa it's true hallelujah and please hear me I believe in what God is doing in Africa I believe in what God is doing in South Africa are we together now yes in one minute for every time God grants me the privilege to be here or anywhere around the soil of this nation I will make my contributions and lend my voice to speak over your soil are we together if you love South Africa in one minute just one minute from the depth of your heart let's lift up a cry as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ over South Africa go ahead and pray pray for your parliament pray for those in government all the tears of government if you are in politics here we are praying for you you are in government here we are praying for you go ahead and pray right from the presidency to every region Pray that the program of God over South Africa will not be thwarted, will not be aborted. Is someone praying that your leaders will enact policies that will bring fairness and justice and equity to all? That every South African will be proud of being in this soil? Pray that this nation will not go down. It will only be from glory to glory to glory to glory mention the regions if you can remember them prophesy upon everyone in south africa young old male female pray for your politicians we pray for the peace of jerusalem for in jesus name i pray father i lift up this as a prophetic sign over this beautiful nation of south africa that you have so loved south africa you will not go down South Africa, you will not go down. South Africa, you will not go down. You will not go down. From the presidency to your house of parliament, we decree and declare, everybody who should be there by God, we enthrone them prophetically. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we declare that this is a nation you will be proud of. This is a nation your children will be proud of. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that terrorism will never find its way to your soil. We declare that corruption is living and it's on its way out of South Africa. We declare that anything that represents injustice and inequity, let it be far from your borders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Koinonia, I pray for you. May this be your portion this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Commanding results in the kingdom is not rocket science. The grace of God has demystified these things. So that the saints will understand. Hear me. God is glorified. When we rise. Give us some 30 again. Now you will understand. It says that my glory will praise you. I can praise you even without results but I need my glory to praise you thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing thou has put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness verse 12 he says give us verse 12 please to the end that my glory 
that means as you are worshiping your car outside is also worshiping as you are worshiping the baby is also worshiping your results should also worship god this is why we are here tonight and if you are coming here for the first time you are welcome you will know that you came to a place where god dwells because my god will surprise you this night So what is God doing tonight? One, he's healing. Two, he's bringing deliverance. Three, he's bringing breakthroughs. Number four, he's bringing restorations. Do you believe this? Number five, I believe he's opening the book of remembrance. Listen, God never forgets, but men can forget. And it is equally dangerous when men forget you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the keeper of Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumber. Look at the gentleman who gave his testimony. I hope when you listen to these testimonies, you are learning from them. Now the man told him, I have signed the contract. And yet the man forgot. The same way somebody thought that it was you he blessed and forgot. He must remember this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere your portion is hiding in this city and in this nation, in the name of Jesus, if you believe it, I declare over you by the God who called me, he must look for you in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. I believe this, oh, I believe this. Let the atmosphere of faith help that lady under the anointing. Please participate in everything we are doing tonight. Don't waste your time. You came here since morning. Don't just watch others and clap. When we are saying shout Jesus, when, when the power of God is moving, touching people, don't just be passive and you are watching and saying, wow, it was a powerful service. That's not what you came to do. This is not a cinema. This is not a museum. You came because there are some things that must give way. You came because your ministry, the parascopia, the mockery and the shame around your ministry as though God did not call you. You came to encounter grace that will rewrite the narrative of your ministry. So if you're a man of God, a woman of God, don't sit down and see if the anointing is not available for you to receive. If ye being evil, know how to give good gifts. God is a giver. Did you hear that? God is a giver. Let me give you one prayer point. Father, my portion in life and destiny, my prophetic portion, I receive it in the name of Jesus. It must gravitate towards my life. Please open your mouth and pray that portion of grace allocated for my efficiency and God is able to make all grace abound towards you God is able to make all grace abound towards you Let me add one more prayer point. Father, let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something. A season of results. Please open your mouth and pray. My season of results. Let my life capture your faithfulness. Everywhere 
I pray you are following online. Pray a season of the performance. Tired of being at the same level. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. I need a consolation to my Christian experience. In the name of Jesus, put a new song in my mouth. A, pray, a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you. Let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God. Let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one. Let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the graces that you have given me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. We do not serve God just because of results. We love him more than that. However, however, there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results. Are we together? When Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened, the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him. It is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture, but it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence. You are a true witness when your evidence is there. You can tell people God lifts and they will believe. But when you are lifted and you say God lifts, it will be stupid to doubt you. This is what I'm praying. Because see, many of you, you're promoting the purposes of God is not efficient. Because the evidence that you need as a man of God, you can't keep telling people God opens doors. They keep shouting amen indefinitely. They are human. They will be tired. Do you mind praying this prayer one more time? Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life command an evidence. The proof of your faithfulness seen in my life. The proof of victory seen in my life. The proof of favor seen in my life. The proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life. in my life seen in my life give me a change of story in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we are going into the ministry of the spirit right now where God is going to be visiting us I want you to believe when it's time to pray for the sick I want you to open up your heart you came with a sick person when it's time to receive that miracle I want you to receive with all your heart and when we instruct you to check yourself and you find out the power of God has touched you you make your way very quickly here and we'll be ministering deliverance listen the word of God is the conveyor of his power. So for every word that comes like never before, receive it with understanding and intention. 
I know what God has shown me about the kind of people he's raising. I know what God has told me as we pray preparing for this. Many of you have traveled from across literally nations across the globe. Several regions within this nation. God will not gather you like this to waste your time. Hallelujah. And as I begin to minister in the spirit, don't worry, just allow me to do my crazy things here. I'm walking with the spirit. The way God walks, by now you know, it does not make sense. But provided is consistent with his character and it produces results. Sometimes the ways of the spirit is like the way of the wind. You cannot tell where it cometh and where it goeth. But one thing you cannot deny is the signature of God's power upon it. There are prophetic actions that will come sometimes they may not make sense. Be flexible and be childlike enough to believe the Lord. Hallelujah. This is koinonia. Please stand, just remain silent. I'm not making an altar call. It is the power of God that is going to be moving. And please ushers, now let me just say this, whether you are an usher or not, our ushers are limited, there are thousands of people here and all across. Um, anyone who is under the anointing close to you, if I ask you to bring them, please just bring them out so that we'll hurry up. It is my prayer that everybody will receive maximally within the limited time that we have. I don't intend to keep us too long, but I want that God will grant us grace to do so much. Hallelujah. When God speaks like this, it is because there is something that he's doing. Hallelujah. Are we together? So after the first shout, there will be a shout of a lady. And then after that, the power of God will start moving to specific people. And what I am seeing in the spirit, I'm just seeing like a cloud about to rain. And that's what God is doing to these families that he's single-handedly bringing out. Bring them out now. Please bring them out. My restorer has won my battle for me. My lifter has won my battle for me. The God of lifting has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man has won my battle for me. My restorer has won my battle for me my redeemer has won my battle for me i'm a winner man no winner man won my for me. i'm a winner man no winner man won my for me. let me tell you what is happening to these families that god is singling out i saw a cloud and the Bible says if the cloud be full of rain, there is a strange visitation to bring testimonies. The power of God is still moving on those families. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. Just this is the instruction God is giving me. It's impossible to stand if the hand of God is upon you in that family. let captivity be turned around it's a miracle service god is bringing to end captivity opening the gates of heaven ah it's coming to an end it's coming to an end that's what i'm hearing in my spirit it's coming to an end 
surely there is an end it is coming to an end it is coming to an end shame coming to an end reproach coming to an end God of lifting has won my battle for me God of miracles has won my battle for me the God of favor has won my battle for me I'm a winner man, a winner man number two tonight's miracle service is very strange i'm seeing a bunch of keys that is being handed over to people in the spirit now hear me it is coming like fire on people's hands i want you to bring them out key stands for access there are people who have not been able to access certain dimensions right now in the name of jesus christ bring them out access god is giving you access access to realms access to things access to treasures of your destiny among our viewers the lord is showing me someone you are following from the u.s you are sitting on a couch you and your children girls in the name of jesus christ you are part of those that god is giving this access to by the power of the holy spirit i am praying for you right now as god is doing it here listen without a key even when there is a door it will not open by this key that god is giving he's swinging open doors i'm still praying again the fire of god is still visiting people opening doors by this key that he's given very strange manifestation of doors opening for you hallelujah hallelujah it's very strange how god is operating tonight i'm looking in a vision and this is what i'm seeing please listen i'm seeing a woman who is pregnant and lying down like on a bed in a labor room but she's not giving birth i know this is a prophetic statement there are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision i saw of this pregnant woman in the name of jesus i stand as a prophetic midwife i command your prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now by the spirit and the power of God prophetic delivery right now now please hear me people usually run when I pray for speed but people are going to be running but for a different reason now it is not just for speed I want you to be sensitive it is not just for speed it is still the same running but the spirit of God is speaking to me hallelujah this running 
prophetically is a sign of deliverance leaving the place of pain into the place of glory leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity i'm going to stretch my hands now the power of god will come on many people and they will start running hold them gently and just bring them out i decree and declare even as god has revealed to me i release that grace right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now from any obstacle any condition bring a bringing you shame and reproach be separated right now open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i prophesy a separation by the spirit of the living god hallelujah who is matilda i'm hearing a name matilda matilda this should be a lady's name matilda this is what i'm hearing i'm hearing a name matilda please be sensitive we're going to pray matilda the lord is bringing a visitation to matilda and her family who is victory i'm hearing the name victory not victor victory ends with a y victory in the name of jesus christ there is a strange visitation that is coming for that person please don't don't just come out at random let's let's be sure that victory What's your name, my dear? Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for people, but I'm seeing a woman, a lady. You had a miscarriage last week. You had a miscarriage last week. Please help them. You had a miscarriage last week. I don't know where that person is, but I want to pray for you now. Victory. Your victory? I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you. I'm going to pray for everybody but i'm seeing oil right now and the lord is i'm with that oil i'm seeing something leaving your body this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus i stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the holy spirit first two of you before i pray i command right now in the name of jesus by this oil and this mantle upon you every demonic thing every embargo sitting upon your destiny i cast it out of you right now I cast it out of you right now. I cast it out of you right now. I cast it out of you right now. There is a lady, you had a miscarriage last week. This is what God is showing me. Please make sure you don't tell lies. We have a, a, a miscarriage last week. Who is that? What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. You had a miscarriage last week. You're married. How long? This year. This year. I'm going to pray for you. Who is miscarriage? How long? Last week. Last week. Where are you from? From Maraba. No, 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 no. Where are you from? State of origin. Hey, go state. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing stones around fire. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me to take it away. I declare 
every altar that is speaking against your life as i'm praying for her i'm praying for someone in the name of jesus anything that will not let you go i stand prophetically and i scatter it right now I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life. I prophesy to you right now I don't care what the medical situation is return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children now who is Augustina Augustina I'm hearing a name Augustina Augustina God is bringing victory for that family. The family of Augustina. God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it. More than seven years it has not been completed. Whether it's an individual, whether it's a family. No matter what it is that you do, it looks like it is not completed. I want you to lift your hands you don't have to come out the power of God is coming upon you right now it is the finishers anointing you will be surprised to see what happens some of you before December I'm standing as every power sitting on this project and will not allow you make progress I decree and declare go forward in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Huh. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm standing in front of a river. Please look, listen carefully. I'm standing in front of a river and this is what I'm seeing. You would think it's fish that is coming out of the river, but I'm seeing human beings tied with chains. You know how fish comes out and goes back. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set people free now. Please listen. I'm going to, it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now. Please hear me. I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come. You know how fishes jump, but I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes, but they are human beings. I'm praying right now. You're about to shout, Jesus, my goodness, my God. Every marine spirit, spirits of darkness connected to the waters it was an element of creation god gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be in the name of jesus anyone whose destiny has been buried kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits as you shout the name jesus may that fire come upon you and i lose you are you ready now at the count of three one two Three, shout Jesus. I lose you now. I lose you now. Covenants and altars tied to water. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something the Bible says in revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the bible said the sea gave up the dead 
the sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies tied down by activities of witchcraft when you read your bible it says all of the abundance came forth out of the waters and the devil has manipulated it to destroy people i am still praying again anyone's destiny here your destiny means where god has preordained for you that has been tied trapped down maritally financially in terms of fruitfulness i decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now 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 hallelujah please look at me i want to ask you a question when naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free look up where did the leprosy go to where did the dead skin go to the spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around the man who Jesus told him to wash at Siloam, when he washed and he saw, where did the blindness go to? Now, listen, just because people have abused all of these things through, unfortunately, extra biblical practices, you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer. Are we together now? The water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the trinity too as ice as liquid and as gas water is not limited by anything does not fear anything does not run away from anything very mysterious Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years and yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now, anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be in the name that is above all names, my God, I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation. There's someone here.
you've been having i'm going to pray for the sick shortly you've been having severe headache when it comes upon you it almost acts as if you are losing your mind this is a very demonic thing this is not just a headache as a result of fatigue the power of god is coming upon you right now right now two of you are not in this auditorium but the power of god is coming upon you right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god in the name of jesus and for all of you who have come out here you did not just come out to waste your time i decree and declare the same way these spirits have left you they go for good and for some of you even before this service is over your testimony begins Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. You receive it by the Spirit. May it be so for you. Laughter, laughter. Anything that fights your laughter, I curse it right now. He said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. I prophesy as I hear in my spirit. Laughter, laughter. Step into your season of laughter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for a family. Oh dear. You are from Gombe State. Gombe State. Where is the family? Gombe State. Uh, ah, I'm not saying everybody from Gombe State come out. Oh, if we have that, there is. I, I'm seeing a family. Ah, uh, mother and not. Our people are already out now. What do we do? Mama, you are welcome. We'll pray. Of course, everybody wants to go forward. So once you hear a word, I will pray for you. That's, no, 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 you don't have to come. Huh? Deborah. Deborah, I already prayed for Deborah. You received by faith. Eh? We are talking of um, Gombe State. The Lord is speaking to me. I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. It's a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Ah. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. Altars are breaking. No one oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Father, you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State. I'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact. Listen, the power of God is going to come upon you. 
and everything that represents shame and reproach for that family whether you are here represented or prophetically following online in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now every activity of witchcraft now be broken be broken help mama please be broken in the name of Jesus be broken now the Lord is showing I'm going to pray for you listen in the name of Jesus I'm, the Lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth this is what I'm seeing not, not necessarily in Gombe State this is another case God is showing me ladies whether they get married they are not able to have children and this is like a pattern it's happened to a number of the ladies you don't have to come out whether you are online or you are in here please I want you to believe God is visiting people's situations in the name of Jesus before I finish with you my Gombe people any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised Christ from the dead we command those altars broken now we command those altars broken now Now, for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings, wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. Please return to your seat. I'm going to pray for the sick. How many of you believe in prosperity? financial prosperity i know there are five levels i'm talking about financial prosperity i believe in it oh. I don't, if you don't believe you can you can it is a very bad thing to be poor let me just tell you straight to the point the reason is and remember you have been taught here when we teach this we are not teaching from a an unbeliever's carnal pursuit for material things but let me assure you by the spirit of god you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself poverty takes away dignity from the life of people hallelujah there is the wisdom that brings prosperity first as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide there is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity but there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey get this equation now wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide that is the department of wisdom there is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you then there is the prophetic dimension are we together if you lack any one of these three you will be poor if you have a superior belief system you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men and if those men don't like you and don't believe you you can be valuable and you will still remain there are we together if you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom you will only have circumstantial wealth as important as it is because men will come but wisdom your your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand but if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is and you do not have the prophetic you will keep building and crashing 
because one activity of demon spirits one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely you can impart the spirit of wisdom but it takes time to build belief systems and that's what we do every week as for favor there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor but this prophetic dimension is my assignment i'm going to pray for the sick but i want to speak it listen by the grace of god i vowed before god that i will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life god is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life. You are praying for rent. No. God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again. It is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper. Listen to me men can prosper i know that there are this ministry has very successful people at different levels building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in farming you will laugh this balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking that's not the kingdom's way at every level we can still rise higher and for some of you who are saying i am comfortable your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources you are not prosperous for as long as your resources ends up with you your comfort yes but your comfort alone wrong for the sake of thy prosperity i desire your house I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick. Please, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. If you ever believe and respect the prophetic, believe this declaration. Just believe it and insult me that I'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen. But please believe it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cry unto you, you are a covenant keeping God. I have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence. Lord, there are people here who love you sincerely, but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down. I stand by the prophetic in the name of Jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open, I prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the Lord. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Businesses, receive that grace now. Families, receive that grace now. Territories, receive that grace now. Anyone who is in any financial situation, you are owing, you lost money, you are in business, there's some kind of financial trouble in the name of Jesus, like Elijah prophesied over the the, the woman in Zarephath, I speak to your life. May God raise men to bring you out of that situation. May God raise men to bring you out of that situation. Apostle, what do I do to prosper? May my God show you in a dream. In the name of Jesus, the area connected to your wealth, I ask my God to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you.
Can I declare favor over you? If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen, I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud, I know what I'm saying. Forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance. I know what it means to walk in the favor of God. I'm praying for you such as I have. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. The one who favors men. I'm praying for you. Let this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. Sincerely believers hear me, let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are Please lay your hands now believing. Anywhere you're trusting God for a miracle. I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones. I'm seeing others connecting by faith. There are people following from hospitals, having death sentences. It is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles. I believe in miracles. I really do. Now here's what will happen. I'm going to pray for the sick now. And expect the power of God like I taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of God has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what God is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please ushers protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor Jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and I'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And I want you to agree as I pray. For those who are following from hospitals, other people carrying their medical reports, there is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick. I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now depart right now depart right now 
now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is I stretch my hands prophetically and I declare be healed now let the life of God surge into your body now in the name of Jesus Christ bone conditions anyone having a bone condition I declare be healed now anyone lying down on the sick bed I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now cancer be healed now tumors and growths be healed now partial or complete blindness eyes be open now ears be unstopped now you heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb in the name of Jesus any organ that is failed or failing we command a brand new organ now peptic ulcer be healed recurrent migraines be healed blood conditions be healed There's someone you have a serious problem smelling it's just you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink that's literally how it is for you God is showing me in the name of Jesus you are healed right now the Lord is showing me someone you usually are a straight person you stand very straight but something began to happen to you and you are bending over it's like something is bending you over in the name of Jesus Christ I declare that you are straightened now someone's kneecap you've had severe pain around your kneecap in Jesus name may the power of God touch you There's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery I'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks I don't know what the condition is but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region in the name of Jesus may the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe breathing problems um, you've not gone to the hospital for any check but you've had severe sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you in the name of Jesus Christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of God you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the Lord is touching you right now now whether I mention your case or not I want you to believe right now in the name of Jesus there is a woman you are not here in Nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what I'm seeing the power of God is touching that little girl right now I'm hearing the name bronchitis bronchitis in the name of Jesus whether here or anywhere following across the globe I declare be healed now I'm seeing a woman in fact I'm seeing in my vision a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power of God that woman is healed now if there's anybody here who came with a mad person 
maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder any kind of you know issue that has to do with madness in Jesus name we declare they are restored now they are restored now repeated malaria month after month you treat it it returns you treat it it returns in Jesus name be healed now by the power of the Holy Spirit and then the Lord is showing me someone um, not to be embarrassed but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute I don't know if you've gone to the hospital but you have an an embarrassingly painful expression of pile this is is, is this thing with what I'm seeing is not even just like pile it's like a swelling even though I'm praying for you but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what you know what I'm seeing is not very good is is wise and I've taught you here we believe in the healing power of God but we are responsible people you have a situation that calls for concern there are many many doctors that are born again and filled with the Holy Spirit they can be able to examine you even if it needs a miracle they'll be honest enough to tell you it is wiser to at least get that perspective than to you know irresponsibly shrug it away and yet you are not releasing your faith for that person i'm praying right now this night this moment may the power of god touch you now in the name of jesus christ someone's left ear left ear you hear a very you know very irritating sound and then that's it i'm praying for you be healed now and pains around the body any part of the body whatsoever be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I speak healing for you now 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 this life that I am is a life of God in me. This life that I am is a life. This life that I am is a life of God in me. This life that I am. So 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 of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus don't get used to it i know you've shouted it many times we don't shout it as a ritual but listen let me tell you the truth i'm seeing a sword what looks like a knife a sword is piercing into people and situations and families that sword represents the word of god at the count of three everything that does not name the name of christ as you shout the name that is above every other name it must give way whether you are outside all of the overflows or anywhere it's time for you to be free those of you in front here i declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of jesus be completely healed right now in jesus name and may the lord visit you everything that represents a limitation in your life say amen i curse it right now it must let you go right now in jesus name now let's pray father the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down 
there are destinies that will not lift up their heads right now in the name of jesus at the count of three may that fire that proceeds from his throne that brings deliverance please whether you are an usher or not anybody who is under the anointing please help to bring them out right now at the count of three one my goodness two three show jesus i command liberty 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 by the spirit of the living god i declare and i prophesy liberty 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 that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified in the name of jesus we are still going to shout that name my goodness bring them out i'm seeing fire falling lord every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities as you are shouting that fire will rest upon every altar one two three shout jesus every family Die down by demonic orchestrations. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. This man, that man wearing suit, come. This man, yes. Please bring them out. Something is happening. What do you do, sir? Huh? The mic is <laughs> I work with EFC. You work with EFCC. I'm going to pray for you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you. Please hear me. Write this between now and November. God is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of delay. Ah. That anointing is coming right now. As I mentioned, the cases is leaving you right now. Delay, delay, delay. I cost you. I cost you. I cost you. Delay of any kind. My goodness. I just I hope they are not injuring themselves. Hallelujah. The overflow here. What's it called? The tent? Is this the tent? The, old, the smaller tent I want you to lift your hands those in that tent please lift up your hands those in that tent I'm seeing the power of God fall on people there at the count of three in that tent I want you to shout Jesus and I want you to bring out those under the anointing you don't have to bring them in here father you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent I decree and declare right now the tent there one two three shout jesus liberty even by the spirit liberty now please hear me the lord is revealing to me there are people here anything given to you you will lose it whether it is relationships when good things come into your life they don't last i want to pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has left you that should not have left you i call upon my god let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now be restored now, be restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now.
I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been working with God access to us father I don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate I prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation i bring you i call you by prophecy into that dimension the eyes that see and the ears that hear prophetic revelation so that you will bring the precepts of god with accuracy and with precision hear me although we are here in enugu the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now i relocate you to the place of destiny i relocate you to the geography of your witness the spirit of untimely death the spirit of untimely death the lord is showing me patterns every year someone must die every two two years someone must die every three three years someone must die i want to judge that altar by the spirit of god in the name of jesus every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family it is judged right now in jesus name it is judged right now in jesus name i'm ready to pray for the sick now Jesus, there is no one, darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here sense of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands no no you don't have to come out since I didn't call you 
don't worry you can stand where you are and receive in the name of jesus father everyone who is called into the healing ministry and i said it the last time i was in this city god has revealed to me that before christ returns there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again we have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers too. we've seen pockets of it here and there but there will be such a move the healing ministry authentic genuine healing ministry i pray right now i don't know that man of god but in the name of jesus i stretch my hand man of god there does not just mean male male and female all together i hope you know that women have a major end time role to play a major end time role there are women who will come in the spirit and the power of elijah and will do mighty things across regions it is true they will defy the prejudices of gender and race and god will use them mightily and gloriously i'm praying right now healing rain is falling down healing rain is falling down everyone to carry this healing anointing at the count of three i declare like oil may it rest upon you now one two get ready now get ready three take that grace right now in the name of jesus may your hands be anointed you will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of jesus christ I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry may the Lord do mighty things mighty things mighty things now please hear me we are going to do this very fast and I want you to please participate I'm about to pray for the sick do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go mm -mm. it was Archbe Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said if your faith says yes God will not say no I'm about to pray for the sick and please hear me I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle believe that you will be healed and then if you are standing in for someone whether for those following online or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones i'm going to pray and the power of god will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you i'm going to give you an opportunity whether you are in the overflow at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right will take a few testimonies and then i will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity the spirit that is back of that condition in the name of Jesus you give way now shout a loud amen now I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed of blood conditions now
someone is i i don't know but it's, it's it's a messy scene i'm seeing in my vision someone will start vomiting like throwing out something and that will be the end of it i'm seeing an infirmity this is a demonic thing in the name of jesus i decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised christ from the dead be healed now every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the holy spirit there are a number of ladies i'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that god heals in the name of jesus christ i declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now there's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what i'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe i don't know what that problem is but in the name of jesus i command that that demonic pain to leave now there was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of jesus it will shrink back now we cost that devil in the mighty name of jesus christ you started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck it's as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of jesus i bring you liberty now yeah. hiv be healed yeah. cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now yeah. there is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of jesus christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having it's like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of jesus christ i command healing for you now now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look. Now, I want you to begin to check yourself. Look at this. The collarbone here. The power of God is touching someone right now. That collarbone. 
in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone i don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision god is showing me you have a child that is suffering from autism autism in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching that child right now autism autism be healed now your your son your sister son in the name of jesus wherever the boy is we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow i'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of god is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming i want you to pray that in the name of jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny i declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they need wife rooms they need wife dimensions every gate and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life i decree and i declare i decree and i declare i decree and i declare be open for me right now i decree and i declare i decree and i declare my god are you seeing miracles people are coming People are coming. Pray. God is opening doors. testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i'd like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone. In the name of Jesus, one who asketh, receiveth. He said, if you can see me as I am taken up, if you can see me, and the Bible says the heavens were open, and he saw the chariots of heaven come. Listen, he said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And all of a sudden, that mantle came upon him. And he went to the Jordan. Watch this now. 
as soon as he, he said where is the Lord God of Elijah and he struck the mantle the Bible says Jordan parted heater and teeter we're about to enter a very sensitive period of this graduation right now please I want everybody to pray those who are connecting online our precious people are about to receive something that will change their lives it is such as we have that we give mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are resting here tonight now listen carefully we're about to pray when the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me you have heard me say it one of the many mandates he gave me was that to every city and every nation I send you to that light that came from me to you there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come our precious students have learned they have been built they have prayed they have cried now is the time for them to receive please let's have the oil very quickly the jar everything please isaac walk with them father this is ordinary oil oil cannot anoint this comes from a tree oil only anoints when it is anointed itself and in the name of jesus christ we anoint this oil by the power of the holy spirit and lord we pray that in the name of jesus let this bring impartation to your people father by the privilege of the election of grace I stand upon my office by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name of Jesus as I have freely received I pray that the lives and the destinies of your people will be changed even by this impartation in the name of Jesus let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit Please begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ.
You. 
still doing the impartation for the students please lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every student here the grace that is dormant within you that has not found expression I stand by this mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic I declare right now let it be activated now let it be activated now prophetic graces apostolic graces teacher anointings mantles of leadership let it be activated now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the grace for speed may it come upon your life now speed in the name of jesus christ anything connected to ancestry anything connected to activities of witchcraft that has kept people down in the name of jesus the son of the living god i open that gate for you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward beyond any curse go forward i'm hearing marine spirits in my heart I decree and declare any connection with the spirits that reside within waters by the power that raised Christ from the dead a permanent separation right now every door that has refused to open for you maybe it did not open for those who went ahead of you but in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of he that holds the key of David that opens a door that no man shuts and shuts a door that no man opens may that door of destiny be opened now be opened now everywhere you have been mandated to represent the purposes of God whether in ministry whether in business in politics in the name of jesus the grace that enthrones you there receive that grace now and thou shalt take some of thy honor and put upon him in the name of jesus the grace and the mantle that causes nations to listen that hear ye him anointing I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility in the name of Jesus may that grace mantle you right now and hear me from today anyone that fights you goes down instantly anyone that fights you goes down instantly everyone who has been mandated to partner with you and hold your hands providing help and resources as far as kingdom advancement is concerned i prophesy to the north the south the east and west i call them to your business i call them to your ministry in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone here who is a victim of the negative prophecy of anyone maybe your parents maybe people you offended in your days of ignorance job said he will deliver you from six things yes seven things one of it is the scorching tongues of men anyone here who is a victim of the speakings of men i stand by the authority of priesthood and i bless you i bless you i bless you i bless you beyond your background i bless you beyond your limitations i bless you in the name of jesus christ
I speak to the elements of creation. They were designed to work in partnership with us. Therefore, I decree and declare the wind, the forces that must align themselves to ensure you do not fail. In the name of Jesus, we swing them to operation now. The spirit of untimely death that kills men at the prime of their relevance, I decree and declare, I shut the door of the grave over you. I shut the door of the grave over you. I shut the door of the grave over you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of lack and poverty. Listen carefully. Especially those of you who are called into ministry. It is the absence of resources that has pushed people into all kinds of compromises. Joining wrong groups, wrong associations with a promise of some financial benefit. I pray for you. The raven that came to feed Elijah to make sure he did not die of hunger. Even if it means God sending ravens, I forbid hunger for you while you serve. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now please hear me. I want to pray a very special prayer for everybody, but particularly for those called into ministry. The spirit that makes the children of ministers useless as a way of mocking God, to say you are here blessing people but your child is a drunkard i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me in the name of jesus let me prophesy psalm 112 he said blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty upon earth i prophesy that your seed must be mighty upon earth he said the generation of the upright shall be blessed may your generation be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever in the name of jesus christ now hear me when saul met with samuel three things happened that i want to prophesy over you please pay attention and don't say you are not part of the graduating students the anointing does not care once your heart is open to receive you can receive right where you are number one when Saul met Samuel Samuel looked at him and said is it not because God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance he said as you return back you will hear that the donkey that has been missing has been found let me prophesy restoration i don't know what left you and i don't care how long by the power and the mantle of god i decree and declare receive strange restoration restoration of time restoration of things i say it again restoration of time restoration of things Number two, he said, you will continue going and you will meet three people. All of them holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and they will give to you honor and favor. Let me speak it over your life. In the name of Jesus, according to Exodus 3.21, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. By this mantle of favor, I cause dryness and emptiness from your life. I cause dryness and, and emptiness from your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15b. It says, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. From today, everyone who looks upon you and upon your ministry and upon your business, your organization, I compel favor from them to you. Number three, it said you will come to the garrison of the Philistines. And when you come, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you and you will begin to prophesy. Dimensions that people did not know you walking in. 
in the name of Jesus for, for some of you from tonight the prophetic like never before I activate it right now for some of you the grace for leadership that mantle that was upon Joseph may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Let me pray finally for you. The finisher's anointing. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I taught you last week that destiny is a fight. Destiny is a race and destiny is a treasure that you must keep. You must know how to fight. You must know how to finish. You must know how to keep. This tripartite grace that helps you to fight, helps you to finish and helps you to keep. Receive it right now. 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 The Lord is still telling me to prophesy longevity. Listen, the days that are coming, it is the grace that is on you that will keep you. Believe me. The spirit of death is just roaming around nations and families and just bringing pain for people. But I pray for you again. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. May death be far from you. Far from your family. Far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her there shall be a performance. There is a grace for performance. The grace that translates what you know into results. It's not enough to know. We must see the results. Therefore, the grace for performance, translating superior revelation into undeniable results. May that grace rest upon you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear me, for some of you, by reason of this impartation, between now and the next three months, what you have seen God do in Koinonia here, may he reproduce it in your life. May he reproduce May he reproduce it in your business. Reproduce it in your organization. In the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. The grace that connects you to kings. The grace that connects you to nobles. The grace that connects men to gatekeepers in the name that is above all names that was the grace that was upon nehemiah because nehemiah carried that grace when he cried to the king even though he was an ordinary cup bearer in a moment he was given the resources he needed to rebuild the walls of jerusalem and he was given a letter to all the governors to connect with him in the name of jesus the mantle that connects to kings receive it now systems and structures will honor you for in Jesus name we pray whether you want to do whatever you're going to say Lord forgive me if I'm to be sincere I know that certain things have replaced you it may not be that you are bad I'm not this is not a call to condemnation it's a call to repentance to say Lord you don't have to go on your knees over but whatever position is comfortable we are going to pray we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Adonai, Lamb of God, you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my life. I love you, Lord. 
and I lift my voice to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my King in what you hear help me I return I don't know when the passion for ministry took your place I didn't even realize that this is how far I veered off ah cry 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 Oh God, you are my God. belong to you total surrender my heart my life my everything you're not wasting your time man of God this is the secret to genuine power more than just principles your experience with God for some of you you need to repent you have been distracted you feared off looking for many things
Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Shiva Lama Sada Dava Yanama Sheda just a few more minutes we are praying there is a work of purging that God is doing in someone's life purging God is purging God is purging I love to stand for you How I love to worship you Keep praying And even though it hurts me For every step I take And even though it pains me For every move I make but I love you I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Hug and adore. Hug and adore. Sing it to the love of your soul. my 
body. That was a cry of Isaiah. Let the fire from your altar touch me. Purify everything that is not of God. Let the fire from your altar touch me. Let the fire from your while you are worshiping God is sorting your business while you are worshiping God is arranging things for you while you are worshiping God is arranging the people who will come and sow the land for the church forget about the sorrow Go ahead, something is happening here. My voice lifted up. I will sing your praise. My hands lifted up. I will worship you. Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace on the night. There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, Mary, my name. Go ahead and worship him. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, sing to him. Yeah, 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 I command a restoration of your passion for God. A restoration of your passion. For some of you, after this conference, you will start your own retreat with God. Because God is calling you. You may need to shut down. Even in the secular, we have public holidays where you shut down things so that you can face family or honor a national day or whatever it is. God is calling you. Man of God, by now you would have been a mighty prophet. By now your business would have gone around the world. But you have been searching for every other thing and you ignore the lover of your soul. Get back to the place of the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. Listen. And pray and cry for mercy. And say, Father, I know, I know that without you, without you, I can do nothing without you there's no life to me so i need you in my life today hallelujah One day, I was preparing just 
worshiping the Lord and resting. And then I get this text that a group of some business people want to see me and they came and they said, we're real estate people and we entered a covenant with God that anywhere in the world we build our estate, we must build a house for you till Jesus comes. I don't want to tell you how many estates they have built across the globe today. And some of those houses have never gone to even go and see it. There are keys to houses today that have not even gone to see myself. I'm not saying this to brag. Are we together? Sometimes it's good to challenge people. The product of God's mercy. Product of God's mercy. There was a time within the period of two or three weeks, God brought 18 cars. What do you do with them? Will you put your leg in one and put your head in another one? What kind of thing is that? How many houses can you live in? Even if you travel to every nation. See, it is what you have that you give. You can't give what... There's something you are going to receive this night. I'm not wasting your time. Please, don't be distracted. There is something that must come upon your life tonight. Because the favor of God is the child of his mercy. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Is that in your Bible? For the time to favor her, yea, the set time. that mobilization was in one month no poster no nothing coming to Jesus how do you explain this I'm not saying this to brag I hope you you, you don't misunderstand it that God will grant you access to kings and nobles access to their heart and you're wondering and saying what is this I'm not saying this to waste your time. I'm saying it because he must walk in your life from this night. Yeah. That you will return back and as some of you on your way going home, you will start seeing a strange call. And all that you'll be hearing in your spirit is mercy. Mercy. And you pick the call and someone will say, where are you? I was in prayer and fasting and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. Are you John? Are you Ebuka? Are you this person? Please come see me in my office. Come with two or any two people you want to get a job. And they now come there and you are wondering. They just give them a job just like that. There are some of you by the mercy of God. You are going to step into prepared blessings. Dimensions of blessings that have been prepared for you. I'm saying this to you by the spirit of God. Hear me. There are some of you in ministry. The level of grace and the hand of God you will begin to see in your life will surprise you. Prophetic encounters, supernatural visitations by the Spirit of God. There is no limit to what the mercy of God can do in the life of a man. Because, you know, since COVID, many people's lives, churches, ministries, families have gone down, even economically. Let me tell you the truth. It will take God's mercy to go down. When you have lost 1 billion or 100 million in your investment or in your business, what kind of technology are you going to use to gain it back? No. To take the mercy of God. I don't know how it works for others, but I can tell you how it works for me. Grace, your grace, I'm nothing without you. Your grace, 
please stand. Your grace, your grace, have nothing without you. Your grace, now hear me. I have 10 more minutes with us and we're done. Out of that 10 minutes, we're going to take the next two minutes. I don't know how you are going to cry before God. I'm going to leave you for the next two minutes. Lord, I acknowledge you as the only one exclusively with the power to lift me and the power to help me. And I cry like bind Bartimeo, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Someone pray. I don't know how you will cry before God, oh, but I leave you with God, your maker, for the next two minutes. And that includes those following online God is able to help you and to raise you by his mercy having obtained help from God I continue to this day go ahead and pray mercy mercy shalike parakos kadebrendege balakatosiata where a man of God in ministry cry for mercy you are a businessman cry for mercy you are a prophet that wants to be used mightily by god cry for mercy an apostle a teacher of the word cry for mercy believe me that outside of the mercy of god there is not much you can do this is true two minutes you are crying to your god and your maker pray messy no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has in store for me so I submit to your work in me Till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear. What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work in me Till Christ is formed in me hey. No eye has seen, no ear has heard What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work Till Christ be formed in me Your glory revealed through me Your wisdom be found in me Your favor rests on me No eye has seen, no ear has heard what you have prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ form in me listen to me the bible says if my people which are called by my name 
in as much as they are called by my name the first thing is that they must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land the next time you say Lord I need your help what you are saying is keep me in the zone of your mercy mercy now you know it is not an immature spiritual prayer when you go to the place of prayer and you roll from left to right crying and say show me mercy show me mercy it was that brokenness that God found in the young boy Solomon that made him to receive such a rich investment of wisdom when Solomon was asked what do I give you he didn't just say give me an understanding heart he said Lord I am young and you have given me such a great people who is able to lead these people he confessed his ignorance and his limitation if there is something I know about God I don't know everything about God but there are a few things I know about God one of it is that the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the cry of brokenness not the accuracy in prayer not the degree of compliance to the word alone the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the voice of brokenness show me a man and a vessel that is and remains ever broken you have found a way of trapping God's presence to your domain eternally let this mind be in you the Bible says Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 which was also in Christ Jesus it says that even though he was God he did not consider it a robbery right that he had that equality yet he humbled himself he submitted himself and died even the death on the cross he says wherefore by reason of assuming that posture in the spirit and even physically God had so highly exalted him and placed him upon him an office that is greater than every other office he says that whoever invokes the authority that comes with that office you see that whether of things in heaven of things in the earth or under the earth every tongue every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I am telling you now that in the kingdom and in the life that we live in the spirit our advantage and our edge is maintaining that posture of brokenness whether you are Jacob or Gideon or David or Solomon or even Jesus it does not matter who you are if it is the God of the Bible you want to secure his presence and his help you must perpetually remain in the place of brokenness crying for his mercy because one genuine encounter with God's mercy can rewrite your life rewrite your destiny hallelujah let me speak over your life some of you your spiritual fire has gone down some of you your passion for spiritual things has gone down your prayer life is almost zero nothing to write home about you may even be a man of God just because you are preaching does not mean your prayer life and your word life is alive you are the one who knows your stay with God some of you right now based on the assessment of your non-compliance to kingdom principles you do not deserve certain levels of the hand of God but the mercy of God is about to speak for you can I pray for you in the name of Jesus we call upon the helper of men and the merciful God may he show you mercy tonight mercy over your spiritual life mercy over your family mercy over your finances mercy over your ministry 
mercy over your health in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that by reason of the blood and that which happened in Calvary may mercy speak for you the same mercy speaks against every altar and every manifestation of darkness over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I speak prophetically over your life by reason of the mercy of God rise to heights unimagined I open doors of opportunity for you by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the one who comes to make your walk with God easy the one who comes to make your life possible in the name of Jesus he who died and rose again I call for his ministry in your life in the name of Jesus Christ like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings will you blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings from the pages of my heart let my worship begin and never rest it's from the pages of my heart let my worship begin and never rest to the god of all flesh you're my God and your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. You're my God and your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh. Go ahead and bless him in the spirit. Let us go to Baraka, 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 Baraka,
Jesus name we pray help them please I release that grace upon you I release that grace take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ I release that grace take that grace take that grace the art of the altar the ability to hold on to the horns of the altar take that grace receive it as a mantle in the name of Jesus the ability to pray the program of God not just give me tea and give me bread no controlling the gates of destinies in the place of prayer power with god i stretch my hands take that grace in the name of jesus christ take that grace help this man take that grace take that grace Stretch my hands towards you. Take that grace. Receive that grace. Let it come upon you like the dew of Ammon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I'm releasing. 
releasing it again. The mantle of prophetic prayer. The art of the altar. Take it, take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Receive that grace. Begin to pray in the spirit for one minute. Can I pray for you? I don't know this man. But there is a grace that is coming upon you. I stretch my hands upon you. May that mantle come upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will walk valiantly, says the Spirit of God. Valiantly, you will do mighty things for Him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Listen. Please listen. We are about to round up. Can I tell you this? Those who do not know how to pray the program of God for their lives and for nations will only allow these spirits to prevail and keep aborting destinies. There is a grace for prophetic intercession. It's not a mechanical thing, no. Where are the intercessors in South Africa? I decree and declare at the count of three, any one of you called into the office of a watcher and an intercessor, may this man will activate that office at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that case now. Take that case now. Take that heaven. Take that case now. Take that case now. I quicken the spirit of the watcher. I quicken the spirit of the intercessor. Arise over South Africa. Pray the program of God. Stay the power of darkness. Open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute. The program of God in South Africa, the program of God over your destiny is at the mercy of your understanding the art of priesthood, the mysteries of the altar. This is where we control the climate over territories. over house of treasures over South Africa let the king of glory we command a triumphant entry a new season of enlargement of increase over the program of God over the purposes of God over the destinies of men Hallelujah. Please hear me. South Africa, hear me. Listen to me. I submit to you by the spirit of grace that if the altar of prayer suffers in your land, the program of God will also suffer. It does not matter what goes right. If prayer goes wrong, everything will go wrong. In the book of Daniel, Daniel was not a prayer warrior. Daniel was a politician. 
but there was an angle of an intercessor and a watcher the spirits of the Medes and the Persians governed the land of Babylon and a parliament had to pass a bill to stop prayer for 30 days let it not be that under your watch South Africa goes down spiritually let it not be that under your watch South Africa goes down financially goes down as far as the program of God is concerned please hear me please hear me please hear me in one minute my time is up you are going to declare over your destiny the two lift gates of my destiny a father be open for the new season go ahead and pray the two lift gates i part you here and tita it's time for a new season man of god pray for your ministry pray for the program of god stand for enlargement open up be open financial doors be open ministerial doors be open greater exploits virgin dimensions virgin territories Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Who is this man? Yes. Are you a pastor? Where? Because I'm not seeing you in Nigeria. I'm seeing you in Europe. Where? Huh? I'm seeing that you are black skin. But why am I seeing Europe on your head? I, I have European citizenship. I live in Europe. Oh, you live in Europe? Yes. You came from there? Or yes. you are South Africa? I, li I live in Europe. And I have my house, my business, my church in Europe. That's all right. I want to yes. pray for you. Listen, this conference was for you. Huh? Because even though you are in ministry, the anointing is going to come upon your business. And honestly, what God will do through your life will surprise you. Can I pray for you? Lift your hands. You have a business in Europe. That's what I'm saying. Father, you have granted us the grace to open up destinies. I speak to you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Receive that grace. Let your business be open now. Take that fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be the beginning of a new season. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, go back and work signs and wonders. Go back and experience the favor of systems, favors of structures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have to close now. But let me encourage you. Please, whatever it takes for you to be here early and to open up your spirit, will set this place on fire tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that tonight, there are mantles that have been looking for people. And those graces will finally find you. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. But as for now, I declare you are blessed. The grace to have discernment even in these seasons, receive it right now. The grace to remain in joy until victory is established, I release upon you. And the grace to pray through, to pray consistently. May that grace be released upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Stop. He won't stop till his church looks like him. He won't stop, no, he won't stop till my life looks like him. God is raising man of power in this place. 
God is raising man of influence in this place. God is raising signs and wonders in this place. And he won't stop, he won't stop till we lose just like him. He won't stop, no, he won't stop till we lose just like him. Two prayer points for this service, and we're done. Prayer point number one father show me from scripture an individual whose destiny represents where you are taking me to go ahead and pray go ahead and pray find yourself in the scripture the bible says he found where it was written concerning him please pray and obtain grace from god reveal to me by the power of your word where it has been written concerning me that law I come in the volume of the book Elijah find yourself in scripture Sarah find yourself in scripture Joseph find yourself in scripture Paul the writer of two thirds of the New Testament find yourself in scripture Peter the chiefest of the apostles find yourself in scripture Agabus find yourself in scripture Abraham find yourself in scripture there is nothing god wants you to become that you will not find a parallel of it in scripture you will not go wrong when the word of god is guiding you please pray reveal the blueprint of my destiny by your word my contribution to this revival that africa and even Nigeria is privileged to host. In the name of Jesus. Final prayer point. Father, grant me the grace to honor and to appreciate the diversities of assignments within the body of Christ. Go ahead and pray. The grace. Man of God don't look down on business people business people don't look down on preachers entrepreneurs don't look down on leaders all together we represent parts and pieces of that glorious army wealthy people don't look down on intercessors and they who are pegged at the altar carrying the burden of nations and praying for them father grant me the grace to stay in my place of assignment but to have that understanding and that appreciation for the diverse provisions that are resident within the body in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the time has come by the privilege of God's grace where an anointed man of God can stand here a businessman can stand here a politician kingdom minded politician can stand here royalty like his majesty can stand here a justice head of a you know the judiciary can stand here and all of us together can hold hands and believe we are doing the same thing for as long as preachers keep being exalted more than other people the people will leave their assignments to be preachers so that they can get the clap too when you clap for Joshua Selman clap for the kingdom minded justice clap for the businessman who in spite of the financial storm is still becoming a billionaire because the resources is what will keep Joshua Selman focused. Also clap for mama who is not educated, but is raising five godly daughters. Are we together now? Oh yes. Don't clap for Joshua Selman. And don't clap for mama. Those five daughters are the ones in the welfare department of his church. And they are not stealing because mama trained them well the gentlemen who walk morning to night there was a father somewhere who did not pray in tongues 
but was sincere enough to Dear love, love I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline. Grant him of ministry. I'm not saying you not honor. Priesthood has its dimension of honor. And I understand. And whenever you do it and people do it across the globe, I receive it with every sense of honor. But I'm telling you this. When I see people who have dimensions I do not have, for instance, when I meet with businessmen, most times as they are greeting me, ah, my apostle, I'm greeting them too. God bless you, sir. And if I have the privilege of learning anything quickly, I will not learn as apostle. I will learn as a student by a king in an industry. Are we together? When I have the opportunity to see an elderly person, and I will greet her. Mama, how are you? Oh, man of God. No, mommy. I'm a man of God, but I'm your son too. And she says, really? Where I stop, may you continue. It's not a preacher that speaks that kind of blessing for you. Mm -mm. Now you understand why we honor people in this house, including our children. You see those little children come and run? We don't know, you don't know how many trees can come out of a fruit. You can guess how many fruits can come out from a tree. These children you see, as small as they are, for some of them, as soon as we share the grace, that's when koinonia starts for them. That jumping you see, it is better for them to jump in the house of God. Some of you at their age, you were still idol worshippers. I'm not being sarcastic. For these people to be praying in tongues while you are praying in tongues too, what do you think they will become when they are your age? The next time you see a little child or a little baby, don't push them trying to see apostle. We are both apostles. It's only that one is manifesting earlier, while the other is using my life to correct and work with greater accuracy. Are we together? There are many people here who are younger ministers. Some of them come to me and you see me greet them and hug them some of them come and they want to lie down i said don't do that you can respect me but don't do that don't if there is anything we have is the privilege to have seen higher you may still be in your formative stage but we will pat you at the back when you make mistakes as much as god has shown us we will correct you but we will help you because the little boy you see in a manger is the one who will save the earth after 30 years is someone learning you need to go back after this service madam go and meet your husband and say thank you i thought you were a stupid man but now i know you're a man of god too forgive me for that ignorance there are some of you who will never cook a nice meal respectfully speaking for your husband but if you hear that i'm coming to your house you will even kill a cow for only me to eat it no it's not necessary it's not necessary that man God gave you is the one who gave the house that we can even come with honor parents don't look at this your children and while you are talking with Joshua Selman on phone and saying yes sir those little children they are the ones who will protect you in old age little children don't misbehave because you are learning nonsense from the internet are we together yes there are people at 11 they were already responsible on their own so please, parents, haven't encouraged you. Don't over pamper your children until they become a disaster to society. If that stubborn child becomes a choir director, he will do everything he did to his siblings in the choir. You will add headache to the church. Politicians, we love you. We keep praying that you love this country above corruption and love this country above sentiment. We will keep praying where god grants us the grace we will talk to you 
and to those of you who have brought yourselves under our leadership we will be will not be afraid to draw your ears in love and say do it this way but the body of Christ in Nigeria the body of Christ in Africa I have good news for you we will win it's been written forget what is happening in the church one problem here what forget it I am telling you it has been written this revival you see will not be aborted in the name of Jesus we will not win because we are sufficient we will win because the captain has risen and has stood before us and as we follow him even as we blow the trumpet in Zion and sound the alarm upon his holy mountain we will see the move of the spirit in Africa like never before in the name of Jesus father tonight we have heard your word you have charged our hearts and helped us to see the value of submitting ourselves to the word to growth to the house of God to methodical and structural mentorship Lord I thank you for the blessings of these precious people you have given me in this place and global thank you for the gift of the body of Christ thank you for all other men of God you have planted in this nation that continue to help us to see where we don't see clearly thank you for the diversities of the gifts thank you for the businessmen thank you for the politicians thank you for the judges thank you for the members of parliament thank you for the royalties thank you for the entrepreneurs thank you for the parents thank you for our force father we pray that you give us as a nation as regions as individuals a healthy orientation and an appreciation for the diversity of what you are doing in this body but lord we declare for revival we declare maranatha let it come for signs and wonders we declare let it come for breakthroughs and lifting we declare let it come for good and righteous governance we declare let it come for prosperity and increase we declare let it come for an end to terrorism occultism and oppression we declare maranatha and father we pray that when you are assessing africa and nigeria let it be by the privilege of god's grace that we did not miss out as we return oh god i pray that will return with stronger convictions making quality decisions that will help to reveal and glorify jesus for in the mighty and matchless name of jesus we pray life and destiny by the power that raised christ from the dead i release help for you to begin to sow in the name of jesus christ for those of you who are in need of the mercy of god to speak in any area of your life silencing the legal accusations of darkness and keeping you in a position where you are a victim may the blood speak over you now may the blood speak for you now may the blood speak concerning you now number two i pray for you every destiny helper and every prophetic relationship that must be introduced in your life in this season for the sake of your rising and your excelling i expose you to such persons in the name of jesus finally i pray for you your relationship with the holy spirit that includes your prayer life that includes your word study life that includes your life of fasting and consecration in the name of jesus christ life to your prayer altar life to your word study altar in the name of jesus christ may the ministry of the holy spirit be real to you and in jesus name i stand here under the combined grace of myself jerry Eze, reverend Zimwa, and your pastor and the father the shepherd over this house reverend edwin and we speak to you as a united force rise to a new dimension rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ that by this time next year everyone will see that the lord has shown you mercy for in jesus 
name we pray. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord increase you in Jesus. I speak over your life that your weak beginning will be full of signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that this is a week of exploits for you. Even as you have learned the grace to put what you have learned to practice. In the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against you will prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you, let it fall in judgment. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. I prophesy favor upon you. That when people are testifying of favor next week, you must be part of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace for honor rest upon you. Your fire, your prayer fire remains in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word fire remains in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no going down for you. You go more and more in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, grant me the grace to receive the gift of men into my life, to see men as an answered prayer, not as a load. Go ahead and pray. Grant me the grace to receive the gift of men. The Lord helps us by bringing to our lives the gift of men. Relationships are powerful. They are irrefutable. Without men, there is no business. Without men, there is no ministry. Without men, there is no rising. In all your learning, learn men. In all your getting, get men. In all your investing, invest in men. In all your receiving, receive the ministry of men. In all your praying, pray for men. to act go ahead and pray go ahead and pray pray from the depth of your heart someone is praying from the depth of your heart shalika paroska dibaleyasa lift your voice to jesus thank you father the people that do know i obtain grace to know i obtain grace to know in the name of jesus someone is praying I obtain grace to know in the name of Jesus I receive the meekness that helps me to know I obtain grace to ask questions that help me to know I obtain grace to be willing to sacrifice my time my energy my resources to buy the truth so that I will know I obtain grace to place value on knowledge and to retain superior knowledge now pray on becoming i contend for the grace to become before doing i recognize that this is not the best version of me i lay aside my current failures my current successes and i press in the name of jesus becoming a greater spiritual version a greater financial version A greater intellectual version I upgrade my references kingdom worthy models and references that guide and challenge my transformation in the name of Jesus I give up age-long limiting on scriptural anti-destiny beliefs and I embrace superior beliefs in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to face and endure the consequences that come with growth that come with transformation now pray for exploits I receive grace to be courageous courageous even when it does not look like it to hold on to the Word of God and to believe I receive grace to be persistent and resilient I receive grace to be a person, a man of God, a businessman, a family man, a politician with convictions. Convictions that provide the energy, the drive to take action. I receive grace to be of unbending focus. Unbending focus. 
and in the name of Jesus I receive the patience the staying power to remain until the Word of God manifests in my life for in Jesus name we pray last prayer point I want you to declare that your prophetic destiny the place that has been earmarked for your prophetic destiny if it requires a fight declare that you are a victor in Christ if it is a race require declare that you run with the speed he says he says he makes my feet like hinds feet that you run and redeem time and your bishopric that you will keep it and none will take open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus the grace to fight a good fight of faith the grace to run with the speed of 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 a gazelle the speed of 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 a, the fastest animal to run with it in the name of Jesus and with the strength of an ox the grace to keep the faith to keep the call to remain to stay to be strong till the end for in Jesus name I pray Go ahead. This is the ninth month. It's your time to deliver. Is someone praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God? Shapranda kaskote prati ke palahasi te apashati ka palakuzi atapa embra katusko zebra katusha kete place father turn situations around visit families visit businesses visit ministries let your people experience the touch of god i'm laying my hands and releasing the anointing upon this request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone praying Embrantas kali kaprahas kada vajaga de beleketosh, maka pragada kata baranda zaga de balasu sepraga de beleketosh yata. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, your people are walking in their testimonies. They are walking in the manifestation of the word. Ne shalas kati pragados kali vrende ge barato sakash. Never again, O oh God, answer your people. Turn our mornings into dancing. Take away the garment of shame and reproach so that our glory will praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you because the Bible says to be anxious for nothing. But it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says to make your request known unto God. We have brought this as a representations of our faith. Believing that you are able. Father, I bow my knees upon this request as your servant. And I pray that from the abundance of your mercy and power, grant answers to this request. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let your crying come to an end. Amen. Let shame come to an end. Amen. Let reproach come to an end. Amen. Let it be a season of joy and laughter. Amen. A season of lifting and restoration. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I was in House on the Rock last week. And um, I taught on the teaching helped by God is on our, our YouTube page you can listen to it and in that teaching I taught that there are three ways that God extends his help to man number one is by granting men access to his mercy number two through the ministry of men and then number three through the ministry of the helper the paraclete that we call the Holy Spirit hallelujah so God is able to show men help by granting them mercy number two God is able to use men the man at the pool of Bethesda when Jesus said what do I do 
his prayer was i have no man that was his prayer i do not have any man who will come and stand to advocate and help me most of these requests here you see are men dependent it will take the 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 synergy between the power of god and the ministry of men for this to happen i said all that because i want to call forth prophetically the men that god will use to provide speedy answers i decree and declare everyone mandated by god to respond to any or all your prayer requests i declare from this night may their ministry in your life be activated if it is a job the person who should talk to the person who should talk to the person who will grant you the job we activate their ministry in the name of jesus christ everyone who has been ordained of god to bring you intervention and to send you help we activate their ministry speedily in the mighty and matchless name of jesus i bow my knees before the father of our lord jesus christ and by the power of priesthood and the prophetic i prophesy that every request here written is hereby turned into a harvest of testimonies for in jesus name we pray let's assume these guys were born on the same day now you pay attention because you're going to walk slowly are we together born on the same day with the same kind of experience in south africa start walking slowly start walking slowly keep moving what is happening to this man it's called delay don't rush just keep walking so hold on where you are now this guy is supposed to have been here but something has stopped him hold on now now time did not stop for him time kept moving he's the only one who stopped are we together now watch this you just turn watch this now when i no 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 don't move sir just stay where you are right just turn and face those ladies now if i say move just move as slow as you can watch this even if the obstacle were taken away now all of you move including you he still has not gained time this is progress not restoration stop where you are let me tell you what restoration is when God says, I will restore. Watch this. Now, I hope you know that time has gone. He will never ordinarily be able to gain time. This is what God does. And I will restore the years. That means when you look at the equation of this man's life, you will never find where that gap was created. What happened? I know that 10 years of your life, you did not have a job. So if you had a job now, you shouldn't be a millionaire by a job in one year. But when God restores. This is what is happening to someone tonight. Because for someone, you are like Jabez. Come back gentlemen, very quickly come. There are families in South Africa. There are businesses in South Africa. You started, let's go, let's go. And demonic forces stopped you, keep moving keep moving 10 years some of you five years now even if you move his progress you don't have all the time my god will lift you my god will lift you and jabez was more honorable than his brethren when he says i will restore is more than moving you forward I will do something to time i can take 10 years and put it in one year there are people by december you will look at your life and it will look as though you started 20 years ago what happened to you by December, a new level of the anointing, a new level of influence and increase. Do you believe this? Yeah. 
My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's got to fulfill every promise to you. Here's the word tonight. Don't give up on God. There's no plan B. Come on, South Africa. He's a oh, 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 oh. He's a Say Hallelujah. Ah, my spirit is fired up this night. For someone, I don't care what family you came from. Hallelujah. Like Jabez, they may have concluded about you. But in the name of Jesus, while others are walking, you will be running. While others are running, you will be flying. Even by the Spirit of God. Listen, it was by this principle that some of us came on board. If it were based on our background, if it was based on the vetting of men, we will still be far behind. But there is a God that gives speed. He can move you by the hand of the Spirit. Ah, someone move forward, move forward prophetically. Speed, speed. No, 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 no. I'm not saying come here. I'm just saying prophetically. Speed, speed, speed. I refuse stagnation. I reject stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to your seat. This is what is already happening to you. You need to be able to defend your results with knowledge. When people ask you how come you have accelerated so far, it is the grace of God, but that dimension of grace is called speed. Speed. And receive the final blessing in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Everything you have received in this service stays with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if there is anything God intended for you to receive and it slipped and you did not receive it, I stand by faith and I declare, may it come upon your life now. In the name of Jesus. Even as you prayed at the start of the word session, may your life command fearful testimonies. It will be evident before all men that the Lord has helped you. Amen. It will be evident before all men that you are commanding strange results. Amen. It will be evident before all men that the favor of God resides with you. Amen. It will be evident before all men that you are totally and unquestionably free. Amen. It will be evident before all men that the prophetic word of God is upon your life. Amen. Therefore, by this blessing, go and prosper. Amen. Go and experience increase. Amen. Go and keep loving the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Let your prayer life come back to life. Amen. Let your word study life come back to life. Amen. And whilst you give yourself to seeking and loving the Lord, may your destiny keep unfolding in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will command men and systems to put resources into your hands. By next Sunday, you will be so full of testimonies. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. God bless you together. Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Surely. Amen. God bless you.